Good morning or good afternoon or good evening, wherever it, whatever time it is where you are. I am Meredith and I am an intuitive and an astrologer based out of the mountains of North Carolina. And today I wanted to look a little bit into Jupiter's journey in 2023, um, which starts at the end of this year. Um, and, you know, I'm kind of like looking at it for a very specific reason because Jupiter is a planet that is typically associated with luck and with um expansion and with positivity um I feel that Jupiter has the capacity I mean I'm a Jupiter ruled person so I feel that Jupiter has the capacity to bring us a lot of deeper meaning understanding if we know where to find it so Jupiter is moving from Pisces into Aries on December 21st. So that does change the way that the energy is feeling. At the 29th degree of Pisces, between now and now and then, I feel that Jupiter is dropping off some type of blessing for us all wherever we have Pisces in our chart, but it's which is good because Saturn is coming into Pisces next year. And it's going to say, like, were you sure about this? Were you sure about this? You know what I mean? So um, so Saturn's coming to sweep through or Saturn's coming behind Jupiter and Jupiter is kind of like moving ahead of Saturn to sweep through these areas so that we can deal with them when the challenging times of Saturn come. So Jupiter in Pisces, as much as like everybody's always always so focused on like what's happening in their outer world, Jupiter and Pisces is very much about what's going on internally, you know, and with your spirit, it's less, um, less tangible, right? But Jupiter comes into Aries, and there's the same themes of like, mm, I would say that there's this similar or the same themes of um, like, needing to pay a deeper level of attention to your body, um, you know, more of the physical symptoms that come with whatever is happening with the sun, like the physical, like next year, I feel like really begins the physical process of our evolution. Like I know that it's been in, in process, but next year with Jupiter and Aries and Jupiter and Taurus, I feel that you know, the process of like pulling our spirit into our body, like over and over again is starting to click. And like, there's something good that's beginning to happen with that. Um, You know, this is where like, if you get like a, an instinct that's on a like subconscious or even like just a very instinctual physical level, you know, some people have a very physical intuition and that is something that is going to be activated, you're going to want to act on those things that you feel to do. Um, You know, this is great for like ambition and for moving ahead with projects, but me like coming on here to talk about the stereotypical meaning of Jupiter and Aries is not what I wanted to do. Um, You know, Jupiter, since Jupiter is moving ahead of Saturn, I feel that Jupiter is like clearing out all of this like generational gunk, goo, miasma, whatever you want to call it about whatever that sign deals with before Saturn gets into that space. Um, And I feel that with Jupiter and Aries, if we look into our Akashic records or our past lives or um, which, you know, an argument could be made that we're experiencing them all simultaneously. Um, but like, if we look at our, our ancestry, our past lives, you know, all of our ancestors have lived through various types of war. And I believe that Jupiter is coming through and like sweeping because, all right, there are a lot of like cosmic energies that are interacting with us. Um, neutrino particles are one of those things, cosmic particles, those kinds of things. So it's like, through like the Jupiter and Aries transit, I feel like this is knocking loose a lot of distortion and issues that we have in our field and our body and our ancestry line and our lineage related to war. So, 
you know, war is something that I think people expect to look a certain way based on how it has gone. But I think that now that we're in this like fourth, fifth generation situation, I think that war is something that is very different. And in Jupiter and Aries, it does, it's like almost, it's an individual thing. It's like, um, you know, like people being impatient with each other on like a micro level, um, you know, you start to see the war energies pick up um, with Jupiter and Aries. And so I feel that like when Jupiter came into Capricorn and joined in with that connection to Saturn and Pluto in 2020, what I noticed was a lot of people clearing out their fear of death and of sickness, of getting sick, right? Or of getting someone else sick or of someone else dying or you dying, right? Like you, we kind of, I feel like we had such a strong opportunity with Jupiter to carry that through. And now Jupiter is going to move back into Aries. So for people who are um, like struggling to preserve themselves, right? So you think about family patterns where like, you know, especially with women, you see this, but you're also, you all see, you see this with men just as much too, like maybe not like advertised or whatever, but you see it, you know, where like people are so much more comfortable with kind of putting their own needs last, even if it doesn't feel comfortable or good being overextended like that, it's still like, you know, can be something that is more comfortable for that individual than healing whatever it is that makes you feel like you need to do that. So I think that as well, Jupiter and Aries, it's like, it is a time next year is a self preservation what do I have? What is under my control type of year? And so, you know, for people who like suppress anger and like resist getting pissed, sometimes there's things to get pissed off about, you know, like I know that people say that anger isn't spiritual, but I think that is the biggest load of horseshit ever because divine rage is very real, you know? And so I think that like, we're just clearing out a lot of that stuff within like the next few months, Jupiter is going to pretty much race through Aries. And in March and April, Jupiter is going to be in very close proximity to Chiron in Aries, right? So not only do we have the ability to heal how we relate to the ideas of like war and peace we have an idea to heal or we have the opportunity to heal like the way that um we put other people instinctually before ourselves um in situations that drain us that take for, take from us you know but i feel that because jupiter has a very like physiological or not jupiter but aries sorry aries has a very physiological component it's very physical. So I think that, um, you know, there's a lot of things in March, April that have to be addressed within it's, it's like, um, Jupiter blows open the wound, right. So that you can see it like really, really, really fucking clearly, you know, March and April, that Jupiter, uh, that Jupiter Chiron conjunction, it has the energy of like, not exactly getting what our human, feels that we want, um, a little bit, you know, it also has the energy of like physical mutation. Um, and I've talked about that a little bit, and I'm going to talk about that much more in a Pluto in Aquarius video that I'm doing about like transhumanism and transfiguration and some of the exciting things that we have to look forward to. But, um, I feel that, um, with, Jupiter moving into Taurus, I believe May 16th of 2023. This is interesting, right? Because we have all of this economic collapse, economic this, you know, and I've been like fucking like banging that drum on here. So I understand that what I'm about to say is a little bit off that because it's like, I want everybody to have what they need and be prepared and that's why I've been like, you know, I've been bang, bang, banging on the drum, but it's like, mm, 
I don't know. I think that there is some measure of scarcity, right? Scarcity meaning like not having enough things. That is something that is specifically created here um, to keep people like in this terrible state of trauma and survival and um, to keep people, I think, from like maybe figuring out how much of like a Chinese finger trap it all is, right? So I, I feel that Jupiter and Taurus will be that really interesting energy for us personally, not necessarily saying this for the world. I do think that the world is going to continue to go through economic challenges and it's up to us to either pivot if we need to, or to exit, you know, it's up to us to do that. And nobody can really obviously make that choice for you. But I do feel that even within like an engineered scarcity type of environment, which is extremely unfair and extremely wrong. And I'm not sitting here saying, yes, it's a great idea to burn down all of these food plants. And that way we can see how abundant and how much the universe really does take care of us. But that's kind of the last point is what I'm saying is that um, I think that with Jupiter and Taurus, we will see potentially a very bright spring, a very fertile ground, which is kind of weird, right? Because the soil is barren, et cetera. But I think like the energy of fertility for us personally, um, just in the way that we are provided for and the way that we have like the provision that we need. I feel that Jupiter and Taurus is going to help us to clear a lot of scarcity I mean, how many of our ancestors lived through the Great Depression, right? How many of our ancestors have like died from starvation? I mean, these are these are serious things that have happened. And like those signatures and those memories and those cells, the, or they stay in our cells, you know? So this is what bothers me about like traditional law of, the, law of attraction material is that you're not taking into a into component that or into account I guess that like you are like cellularly connected to every ancestor that you've ever had and who are those ancestors by the way like are we our ancestors these are a question these are questions that I have but I guess I just wanted to share that um, Jupiter and Taurus could be a very healing time, actually, in the way that we perceive resources. Sometimes it's not necessarily the situation that changes, but it's your relationship to it that changes, right? So, um, yeah, so I feel that, you know, next year, a really, really big, big um Something that I would like for you to keep in mind is obviously self-preservation, but also embodiment. I mean, this is like, it's like clearing out the, the impediments to get into fully into your body. I am making an energy class that you'll be able to download and listen to at your own leisure. My spirit tapped me on the shoulder recently and was like, you need to make some passive income, you know, or you need to like set that up for next year for some reason, which probably has more to do with my own astrology. So I will do that. And if you would like to hear how this Jupiter transit and other transits of 2023 will impact you, I will put a um, a link in the description box below so that you can grab that should you decide to. Yeah. All right. Well, I hope that you have a wonderful day. I hope that this was a positive sort of like affirming video and that you, yeah, take care of yourselves. Bye.